Now we'll begin the show here in Lagos, where we joined the New Telegraph newspapers to honor someone they believe did well while he served at the highest rank of the Nigerian police. Well, I'm talking about none other than the former Inspector General of Police and Chairman Nigerian Police Service Commission, Mr. Mike Okiro. Enjoy. It must be fulfilling to be recognized and honored for services rendered to one's nation at a time many believe honesty, commitment and dedication has become a hard-to-find virtue in the civil service. These are some of the qualities found in the former Inspector General of Police and the Chairman of the Nigeria Police Service Commission, Mr. Mike Okiro by the New Telegraph newspaper and subsequently found him worthy of the mating edition of the New Telegram Achievement Award. The New Telegraph newspapers has put together an evening to honor Mr. Okiru who has proven that there are still Nigerians who are committed to the progress and development of the country. The managing director and editor-in-chief of the newspapers, Mrs. Funke Egbemode, in her opening speech, lauded Mr. Okiro's meritorious service to the Nigeria police, noting the reforms and transparency he brought to the service during his tenure. The New Telegraph Achievers Award is designed and back today to remind us of the positives about us. These are words. The first of which is holding today, we celebrate consistency, long track records of contribution to different sectors of the economy. Our first awardee, Sir Mike Obama Kiru. I must not forget to stress the point here, which is one of the attractions which is one of the reasons why we are celebrating Sir Michael Kiro. He's one of the very few Nigerians cleared by the ICPC after being accused and investigated of a long list of sins that did not stick. The Nigerian police was well represented, including the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Suleiman Arase, who proudly chaired the occasion. Sir Mike Okiro has been a part of my professional evolution. Many may not know that I served him as a principal staff officer during his tenure as Inspector General of Police, in the course of which he molded me and prepared me for the leadership of the force which fate has today bestowed on me. From my long drawn personal and professional association with Sir Okiro, I can boldly sum up his personality as a benevolent but tough cop. At some point, comedian Sheyi Lo made an appearance and cracked guests up with his police jokes. When did you argue? Came on board. He was driving from Kaduna to Abuja and he got to a checkpoint. And this police officer, they stopped him. Hey! hey! Back! And he packed. And they said, Yo, your paper. And the guy looked at them. Now, me, Solomon Arashi. He said, Oh, guy, when do you want to take your name to? <laughs> Anything for the boys? He said, I'm the old solo monarchy. I think we pass the with the stop man. Who, 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 who you be? Then the superior officer that was sitting by the van called on the other one. Who, when they happen there? He said, Oh, God, I just stop this man. He give boy something. He, he just the shout, say, I'm the solo monarchy. When the superior head, he turned into the forest and started running. <laughs> The junior officer will see the superior followed. They ran for over a hundred meters when the senior officer stopped and was breathing. And the junior officer caught up. He said, oh, that, Why you run like that, man? He said that the new IG did that. That was when the junior officer started his own race. And the comedian 
Vince Riley top there. <laughs> Later, there was a question and answer session with the man of the moment, moderated by Channel's Television's female Sunrise Daily co anchor, Mao Hui How are you finding life as a retired police officer? Retirement life is one that everybody lives up to. If they are working, you pray to God that one day you retire and go home. Especially if you find yourself in the police force, you retire after 35 years service or since of age, and after going and passing through all the line mines, because the police have been full of line mines. You pass through those line mines, you retire, you go home, and you thank God for the service wearing that. Since I retired, I've been enjoying my retirement. I had to go and play golf in the morning and play golf in the evening. I did that until I was appointed chairman police service commission. The Police Service Commission boss, as a former IGP, took over from Mr. Sunday Ehideru during late former President Omar Musayaradua's reign. Mr. Okuro rose to the pinnacle of his career when he was appointed the Inspector General of Police in 2007. He retired from service in 2009 after 35 years of meritorious service. While in retirement, he was appointed Chairman Police Service Commission a position he has been holding since May 8, 2013. We have identified Chief Michael Kiro today. Basically, what this means is that every, every other month thereabout, people like Michael Kiro will be identified by the new telegraph and brought to the fore so that people can emulate them. And then came the moment he stepped up to the podium to receive his award. After that came the celebration and he alongside others hit the dance floor. Born on July 3, 1949 in Uguta, Imo State, Mr. Mike Okira holds a degree in English language from the University of Ibado, Imo State, a Master's of Public Administration from the University of Jos, as well as a degree in Law. He joined the Nigeria Police in 1977 and subsequently held various operational and command positions, including Commissioner of Police, Lagos and Benue State Commands. Thank <laughs> you.